here I am making a Dirt 2.0 video on how to get our performance up. Now, there's been some issues lately with when you are downloading the game and you're getting it set up that it is very laggy in VR. Here I am with the Vive Pro. I got my full racing rig going on, pedals and everything. And when I first loaded up the game, it was very laggy, very bad. So I'm going to get to the point. There are some very simple things that you can do to quickly fix the latency and lag issues so that you can play at a higher graphic setting with a better um, performance all around to where you don't get like so much of a lag when you're turning your head, um, you're not jumping out of the car and stuff like that and it's a very easy fix. Now with playing Dirt Rally 2.0 we're going to go ahead and hit start or enter whatever that means um, and when we're going into it first thing we're gonna do we're not opening it up in VR we're opening it up in the menu because the biggest thing that I found was basically the gas guzzler of our graphics and CPU was our um, this screen right here the screen on our main monitor because what's going on is you're taking the main monitor screen and then you are projecting that at full graphic settings and then you are taking your two VR screens and you are also sending those out at full graphic settings and that is very very painful for the computer so um, because I have a Titan X and I was still lagging so not good so what you're going to do go into game settings now you see right now we're in 4k first thing I'm gonna do though is I'm gonna go windowed instead of just there because I'm making this window smaller so that everything runs better and then I literally just go down to the smallest possible setting um, I go back down to 60 Hertz VSync off multi sampling off everything is off and we apply it boom there we go are you sure oh yeah I'm sure because it's not that big of a deal Ooh. and um, now that this menu is small we're able to play in VR with little to low latency, that's all it takes. Um, and I was actually to play in the majority of ultra settings, and we're gonna jump in and take a look at that right now. Literally, that's all I had to do. It's made a huge difference, and it's awesome now. All right, guys, so here we go, looking at a quick race to demonstrate better on how everything actually works out. I'm able to check the notes, read the notes perfectly clear, um, which is actually a pretty cool thing and ready to go. So we're gonna hold the Five, parking pass and four, start going. Three, two, it's not a parking one, pass, it's a parking brake, words are hard. So, and the first thing that I really realize is that the latency, I mean, I'm playing a little bit higher of settings. Um, the head is still having pretty good um, able ability to turn. It is not too shaky, it's feeling very natural, which is a really big deal. I, and the force feedback, everything on that is actually flowing really well, flowing in real time, and I'm not having any problems at all, except for my horrible driving, which is apparent. But, well, we're able to stick with it, which is super nice. Um, been waiting for Dirt Rally 2 to come out with basically a VR for the Vive support without it being all finicky and weird, uh, and this was finally it. And this has been basically a dream come true and an absolute joy to play. I played iRacing, I played Assetto Corsa, Competizone, um, you know, Project Cars 2, and now I get to play some Dirt Rally, which is going to be amazing. So, we have that to look forward to, and I've been, I've been in VR for probably about two and a half years now, started on the Vive, and I've played Competitive Onward, for, which is a first-person shooter in VR, and so being able to now play a racing sim and getting into that is an absolute dream. But if you haven't gotten into VR, I highly recommend it. Uh, absolute joy to be a part of. And completely changes gaming forever, especially first-person shooters. Um, and we're able to play competitively, travel around a little bit, which is a blast. Get to meet some really cool people with that. Um, and VR esports is definitely growing fast. But I pose for the camera right here. I'm trying to get the photo op, doesn't work, overcorrect, and crash. But guys, that is the tutorial on how to fix this kind of film, so or this kind of air, and get the everything up and running great. So if you like that, please like, comment, and subscribe. We're going to have more Dirt Rally 2 videos coming momentarily. Thank you.